I'm Dr. Howell Wexler. I'm the director of the Division of Adolescent and School Health at the United States Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. We recently released a report that highlighted uh, profound transformation uh, in what's occurring with the HIV epidemic in the United States. And what we're seeing is that the locus of infection now is unfortunately settling in uh, young people. Uh, what we uh, saw is of the uh, new infections that took place in 2010, we found that uh, more than one in four occurred among young people between the ages of 13 and 29. That means uh, approximately 12,000 young people that are in that age group uh, was infected in 2010, which is uh, equivalent to more than 1,000 a month. What we also know is that young people are by far the group that's least likely to get tested and know that they're infected. 60% of the young people that are infected with HIV don't know that they're infected. Uh, and those who do know they're infected are the, the least likely uh, of anyone to get the regular medical treatment and get their infection under control so that they're in good health and that they're uh, not likely to transmit the infection to others. Uh, what we found is that the uh, overwhelming majority of the cases among young people are among males, 83% uh, as a matter of fact, uh, and uh, the, it's a highly disproportionate uh, impact on African American youth. Uh, more than uh, half of the, the cases are among African American youth, uh, primarily males, uh, and primarily uh, young men who have sex with men. 39% of all the cases are among African American uh, young men who have sex with men. Uh, so we, we know that something uh, really needs to be done uh, uh, to improve the prevention education for all young people, uh, particularly intensive targeted efforts for African American uh, young men who have sex with men.